Eleven Clemson students experienced the opportunity of a lifetime while visiting the beaches of Normandy on Memorial Day. This 10-day study abroad program, also known as Remembering D-Day, consisted of traveling to Paris, Bayeux, and Reims, France, while learning about French-American relations surrounding World War II. Dr. Eric Tuya has been one of the faculty leaders on this trip for the past six years. Clemson is uh, traditional and uh, values uh, tradition and uh, history. And this, and this is something particularly important for new generations to understand history, to uh, have a, a respect for those who uh, sacrifice their lives for us to enjoy uh, our, our freedom. This study abroad program was inspired by Dr. Tuya's book titled French American Relations, Remembering D-Day After September 11th, which contains a series of interviews from American and French World War II veterans. In effect, uh, we, through their sacrifices, through history, we can envision how to live and how to build a better world but at the same time, how to be vigilant about what we all value and cherish, which is the preservation of our liberty, the preservation of justice and democracy. During the trip, students were able to pay their respects to the fallen Clemson alumni who served during World War II at the Normandy and Brittany American Cemetery and Memorial. In your service from South Carolina, he died on February 20th, 1945. This experience was extra special for Kevin Quarles, a rising senior at Clemson. My grandfather served in World War II and he landed on Utah Beach a couple weeks after D-Day. And um, it was really an amazing experience getting to go back to where he landed and fought and uh, shed his blood on the French soil. He was uh, one of many who went over overseas after graduating Clemson to uh, to fight for freedom on the European continent. And a lot of people didn't get that chance to, to come back home. And he was one of the lucky ones. Corals is the first person in his family to visit Utah Beach since his grandfather landed there 71 years ago. It's really emotional experience, you know, just to, to experience the surrealism and the power of, the, of both Omaha and Utah and, and the surrounding areas. And you know how many people, how many people died and laid their lives down just so we can, we can live in freedom, and that the French people and all of Europe could experience, uh, you know, the amount of freedom that we have today. Clemson University students will never forget the men that sacrificed their lives to ensure the future of ours. From Normandy, France, Lindsay Odom, Clemson News Now.